picture a world where AI surrounds us all the time. It's everywhere and in all of your devices, such as your TV, your heating systems and your cooker. And imagine that they had all inbuilt personalities. Oh, and they're also battery operated, you'll see why in a bit. So you can bond with your household appliances, talk to them and even make friends with them. Oh my god, what did I do? And there's one appliance you like, oh, I'm sorry, I mean love more than the others, and that's your toaster. You love it. You have a special connection to it. Even bigger than America's love for oil. Even bigger than history as is in the STUPID WORD COUNTS! Even bigger than Stefan's love for beans. Oh, yes. Oh, no. You have a wonderful romantic connection to it. Better than any human partner you've had. Oh, because it's, you're a bit sad, isn't it? I mean, it's a toast. And one day, while you're having a bath... <laughs> bath time! Your toaster decides that it loves you so much, it wants to join you in the bath. No, no, toaster, no! Dead. <gasps> no! This is one of the problems that could arise from artificial intelligence. AI is the idea of making computers act in a more human way and can be designed so that they can continuously learn from its surroundings. These can be both good and bad things. For example, robots with AI could run whole factories and leave the humans free to do the other jobs. However, if AI could be programmed to continuously learn, it could get smarter and smarter and then humans could lose control of the planet and there will be a revolution led by your refrigerator! Oh, but I hear you in the back. Yes, you. Quoting Aesmo's first law of robotics, A robot may not injure a human being or allow a human being to come to harm. Which it's true, but if you think about it, humans have laws as well, and humans are very capable of breaking the law. So what's stopping robots from doing it themselves? Answer, not really anything except for code. And because it's a computer, it can technically learn to bypass the code. So there you go, even more scares for you at night. Just to clarify, there isn't really mainly anything on the computer science GCSC syllabus about AI. However, because it's becoming a brand new problem that could potentially arise, you can use it in some of your answers. For example, it could come up in a stakeholders question. And you know what happens when we've got a stakeholders question? No, Blue, you've had your turn. Get back in the dungeon. Get back, that's where you belong. Today, we're going to be putting Stefan under the AM spotlight. <laughs> Stefan goes to the store one day and finds out that his beans have been reduced to a much lower price because the bean company have decided to lay off all of their staff and replace them with AI robots. Now, in this example, there are quite a few groups of stakeholders, such as the customer, the old employees and the company. First of all, let's focus on the customer. The customer is affected on a financial level because the prices have been reduced, therefore they will not be spending as much on the product, therefore they can be more inclined to buy more at a cheaper price. The bean company is also a stakeholder as they have completely changed their entire staff with AI robots. These aren't just robots to do the packaging, to do the cooking, these robots do everything. They're in marketing, they're in financial, they are everywhere in the company. It could get to the point where it could just be the owner is the only human workforce, and he doesn't have to do anything, he just sits back and enjoys the cash flow. However, a negative change comes from the old employees. They have no job, they have no source of income. And if this keeps happening, if people start changing to AI workers or robots rather than actual humans, then where's all the money gonna come from? Our global economy is gonna go crash down. 
There is money! But it can't all be that bad, can it? No! As long as the AI robots don't want to take over the world, they could work alongside with us. They can do all the calculations that would take us hundreds of years to figure out. They could help us build rockets to go into outer space, even be test pilots on it. They know exactly everything to do. AI frees up humans to do what they want. We can do so much more. It adds jobs, it strengthens the economy as well. People have to build the AI robots, don't they? All I'm trying to say is that we shouldn't worry about AI. We can work with it and it can work with us. Oh, hang on. No, Blue, you can't have more food. One piece of bread a day is fine. No, what do you mean you're gonna go on strike? I forced you to work here. Get back in the dungeon and keep writing scripts for the show. What? No! If you annoy me one more- Right. Right, that's it. Stefan, cap him. There you go. That'll sort him out.